So just a reminder, this is a series of videos aimed at helping you become a power user in Dynachem model building. Um, and that's why we started with a blank Excel file and then built that up into the fed batch reaction model with an energy balance that we currently have. Um, and we're going to continue in that vein, sort of showing you how to do things in a very granular way. But it is important for you to, to realize, and I, I'm guessing you already know this, that uh, Dynachem Resources is full of templates, uh, around about 200 templates, for all the different sort of phase and race combinations that are common in the user base. And so if you went into Dynachem Resources and went to the Models tab, the second model in the list is for a simple fed batch reaction and it already has many of the elements that we have taken time to build so you know for quick work and for project work we would recommend you start with an existing template and then use your skills to modify that template but purely for the purposes of this power user training we're kind of doing it the hard way so that you can learn as much as possible about how these models are put together. So uh, just, just a reality check there for anybody who's following these videos and actually wanting to model a system like this, please hop over to Dynachem Resources and find the most suitable templates. So one thing I referred to in the last video and that would be nice for the model to calculate for us is a little bit of post-processing about the performance of this reaction. And uh, the number one response that people will want to look at is the theoretical yield. So if we could isolate all of those moles of product, how many moles would there be? What percentage relative to our starting material? And this uh, requires another construct that goes on the process tab, another model building element called user defined variables and calculate statements. And these are an extremely powerful extension of our statements which really allow you to construct effectively your own statements and your own elements to include in a model. So we're gonna do more of those in later videos. But right now I'm gonna just use the shortcut again from the process menu in our model. So I've selected the finished keyword because I want all this to appear at the bottom of the model. And I'm just gonna go down here to where it says reaction extensions. That's gonna have kind of commonly used paragraphs that uh, people like to use with reactions and the very top one is calculate yield so i'm just going to choose that and once again the necessary syntax will be inserted giving me a chance to tell you a little bit more about the process sheet so on the process sheet uh, in column b you will have these kind of red colored keywords very important for dynachem to read those keywords when it sees a keyword it then knows what kind of content to expect to the right of the keyword and then reads that content and uses it appropriately in your model um, so variables really just means you know here comes a list of variables user defined variables that we'd like the software to calculate of course each of these needs a name the name should be unique it is possible to provide an initial value just like we give values here for rate constants, it is possible to give an initial value to a variable here, but it doesn't make sense in this context because we're going to provide a formula in a moment to calculate yield. Um, it's then possible to indicate the units. I talked already about all the calculations internally are in SI units. So within Dynachem, for example, the amount of product is stored as the number of moles of product. The amount of substrate is the number of moles of substrate. Um, so here when we say percent, what we're really saying is, you know what, when you've calculated the fractional yield in SI units multiplied by 100 so that we can see the result in percentage units. So no need for you as the user to multiply by 100 in a formula. Just writing percent takes care of that and you already know what the plot keyword does. Then to evaluate your user to find variable, you need to provide the formulas so that will have a left hand side and a right hand side, like any formula, and it will have an equal sign in between the two. So um, yield 
we put yield, same name, on the left because that's what we want to calculate. We use colon equals instead of an equals sign. That helps to prevent Excel from getting confused by an equals sign. And then we, in separate cells, typically we put the left-hand side, the equal sign, and then the right-hand side. And the syntax here is we write the phase name and then a, a dot um, and then the name of the component. So there is a problem with this formula right now. I don't have a component called P in my model. It's called product. So I do need to modify that so that it uh, retrieves the right amount of moles, the right component for calculating yield. And then we need to divide that by the initial amount of substrate. So again, it's phase name, component name. And again, I don't have a component called A. I have a component called substrate. So I'm just going to fix that. And then dot initial means you know, don't divide by the current amount of substrate, but divide by the initial amount that was specified to be present at the beginning of the reaction. So that is my yield formula that will calculate the theoretical yield um, on a molar basis for this reaction. So just going to revisit simulator and make sure all of that is working. And we should have one extra response on the plot. I've reverted to the default kinetics that we had earlier uh, with sort of pretty fast reaction. And now I'm going to press that uh, play button. And in this video, I'm just going to focus on the plotted yield. Uh, it's right at the bottom of the list in this case. And we can see, of course, uh, yield is building up all the time as we go through the reaction. And we complete the addition and the chemistry converts as much as possible of the reagent to product. And finally, we get 76.715% yield.